Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Holy Saturday, April the 15th. The scripture for this service, Psalm 88, and Romans chapter 8, verse 1 through 11. And now please join me in singing the first verse of Were You There? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. O Most High God of my salvation, I have cried day and night. Psalm 88, and please recite it with me. O Most High God of my salvation, I have cried day and night. Let my prayer come before you and bend your ear to me. For my soul is full of troubles and my life draws near its end. I am counted with them that go down into the grave. I am like one who has no strength. Lost among the dead, like the slain that lie in the grave, whom you remember no more, they are cut off from your hand. You have laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness in the deeps. Your anger lies hard upon me. You have afflicted me with your waves. You have put my friends far from me and made me an abomination to them. I am imprisoned and I cannot escape. My vision fails me. Daily I have called upon you, I have stretched out my hands to you. Will you work your wonders for the dead? Will the dead rise and praise you? Shall your loving kindness be declared in the grave, or your faithfulness in the land of destruction? Shall your wonders be known in the dark, and your righteousness in the land of forgetfulness? But to you have I cried, my God, and in the morning my prayer comes before you. My God, why do you cast off my soul? Why do you hide your face from me? From my youth I have been afflicted and near death, and I suffer your terrors, and I am distracted. Your fierce wrath goes over me. Your terrors have destroyed me. They surround me daily like a flood. They circled about me together. Lover and friend, you have put far from me, and my companion is darkness. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O most high God of my salvation, I have cried day and night. A reading from Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 8, beginning at verse 1. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free from the law of sin and death. For God has done what the law, weakened by the flesh, could not do, by sending his own Son in the likeness of sinful flesh, and to deal with sin, he condemned sin in the flesh, so that the just requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us, who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on things of the Spirit. To set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. For this reason, the mind that is set on the flesh is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law. Indeed, it cannot. And those who are in the flesh cannot please God. 
But you are not in the flesh, you are in the Spirit, since the Spirit of God dwells in you. Anyone who does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to Christ. But if Christ is in you, though the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit is life because of righteousness. If the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his Spirit that dwells in you. Here ends the lesson. Defend us, and we shall shout for joy, for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Bend your ear to us, dear God, and accept our thanks in the morning. Have compassion on us and save us, for you are the God of our salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.